taking it out the corner of the tub. Hi guys. It's thirsty, huh? Yeah, it's hot. Alright, I'm gonna pour you some more in the cup. And you guys can't waste it. Running their books from the school year. morning view. I'm in my son's bedroom, as you can hear. And it's just a perfect view to like sit by the window and look outside and see the back, gar back garden. You can hear all the animals right there. The yard looks a mess to me. But at the same time, it serves purpose. And here, look, there's Sydney. She's going to do her morning chores with the chickens. That was Sydney. Was at her. That's your Spencer. Bless you. You're welcome. You hear your brother say bless you too? There's Sam. And she's going to yeah. the ducks out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say good morning, crackadoodles. Here they come. Yeah, here come the crackadoodles. That bee bag must have blown over there from the wind. It's crazy. Crackadoodles are out. Say hi, doggies.
jumping out. <laughs> Eager eaters keep chasing mama around. <laughs> so we just had a crazy thunderstorm blow through here. So everything is all freshly watered, but it's crazy because you can still see the smoke where this fire was just smoldering for a long time. <laughs> hey guys, are you all wet? Did you guys get wet in there? I come to check on you. See how you're doing. I got some apples for you. You want some apples? Oh, there's an ant on this bowl. Get it off me. Uh, 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 get back in there. So if you look, you can see Lola Asoki. She is, I think she's going broody, but she doesn't always have um, eggs under her. There's not always eggs under her, but yeah, she's, she's always laying in there now. Even though I take the eggs away. <laughs> alive in here you quail are crazy quail like I can't believe how much they kill each other I really can't believe it they had they had a divider here in the middle and I had five on this side four girls one boy four girls one boy on this side they knocked it down so then it was two boys and eight girls all in, in one afternoon my husband came out here um, yesterday afternoon and there were two dead quail. One boy, one girl. I'm like, I just don't know. It's insane. It really is. And these should all be fertile eggs. They're all ones with the roosters. Oh, these flies again. I'm sick of the flies. So these are fertile. And this one here should not be. Oh, shoot. I hope I didn't crack that. I am keeping them separated because I have someone who wants to buy fertile eggs. So we're doing that. Babies. Hey guys. Um, I hope that Polish is okay. Why are you running around in circles like a crazy person? <laughs> what in the world is that about? <laughs> Right here on the front, these two. And Moran. 
have about two. We lost one. And the two salmon favorals, I guess. I'm not sure how you say that. Right there. <laughs> Check out the bunnies. Stormy's the gray one, and Sadie is the red one. Peter, hi Peter, I'm eating. We still have Mary Hoppins, although we decided not to use her for breeding. Um, since we're not going to use the California New Zealand, we're going to stick with the silver fox. But we still have her. Set my eggs down so we can check on these babies. This is Pepper. She has the baby bunnies in here with her. I see you finished your water. Yep, hold on. Some more water? I'll get it. Just give me a second. Sydney, can you bring me the hose to give her some water? I see the babies. Hi, babies. Oh, look at them. Hi. All six are doing very well. We kind of figured out that they were born on the 2nd of June. In the first and second. I'm going with the second. It's an estimated date. Yep, that one's moving. Yep, that one's moving too. Just want to make sure everybody's moving good. Pepper, your babies are so beautiful. You got pretty babies, Pepper. You do. Two gray ones. <laughs> And four black ones. All right, I'll let you have him back. Watch out! Get out of there! Get out of the way! There you go. Thank you, Sydney. I do not like these hooks. Alright. Pick up my quail eggs that I got here. fertilized one. new. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. <laughs> if you just throw that in there with your arm, that's all you gotta do. Give it away. <laughs> yeah, need more. yeah. So, so, don't you think they need more? I would say three scoops. That's good. them on that side so that they're not all bunched up. There you 
it down. And since you're out here to help me, oh. let's give the quail some water. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, they need water. Yeah. Just put the hose down. I hang the hose on here. Okay. Now that works too. I'm gonna take them all out, sit them on the trash can, and then fill them. Get them all out all at once, sit them all in there, and then it's just easier, it's quicker. You guys enjoying your snack time? rain gets in there when the storm blows. They left their stuff out here from their burn session. Crazies. Oh, look at that big strawberry coming. That looks good. Yeah, the corn's all still standing up. Yeah, that's good. I worry about that stuff in the, when the rain comes. I did put the stakes in as a perimeter around them so that we can put up some fencing on it. Um, and I also, I guess, we'll try to run some twine. Um, just kind of make a grid, I guess, around them to just help hold them up for when the storms do come and if anything comes knocking and trying to knock them down. So we got a tomato that's laying down. I gotta put that one up. I need some more steaks though. So I'll have to get those. Can't get any more until Wednesday. Today's Monday. So I will get them on Wednesday. See a cucumber ready to be picked. Do you spot it? Do you see it? See some tomatoes in there. More tomatoes. That beautiful orange color. There's another cucumber back there. Gotta get. There's two. Oh, there's three. <laughs> Where is it? There we go. Three that I need to get, but I gotta put these eggs down. Four. Five, maybe. Maybe five. Let's check on the zucchini. Oh, I see a big zucchini. Holy macaroni and cheese. I didn't even see that thing come. Do you see that? That has got to be picked. I missed it. How did I miss that? Oh my goodness gracious. I gotta go back and look at some footage because I never saw that one back there. I just saw the little one that was growing down here underneath the leaves. What in the world? Where did that come from? I can't even believe that right now. Oh my goodness. Guys. <laughs> blown away right now. 
All right, so I got to put these eggs up so I can get out here and grab this fruit that's ready to be picked. Let's check on the peppers really quickly. I did come back. Oh, I see a snail. I did come in and put in the little peppers that we had um, started after these. So they should be hopefully growing up with these and they'll catch up pretty well. But I see if you look this, look at this, lots of fruit coming on this one. A lot. Oh, this little teeny red bug. Can you see it? So the rain has come, so I gotta spray with neem again. Like I said, today's Monday. My last neem spray was on Thursday night. So I gotta hit this again. I'm trying to do every seven days. So I'm definitely gonna get that done. But I, I mean, like, can you guys see that zucchini back there? Like, I don't know where that thing came from. I mean, I just don't know where it came from. <laughs> How did I miss it? How did I miss it? Bean plants, gourds, more beans, eggplants, everything else is doing all right. Just gotta. Oh, oh, I had extra peppers, so I put, put them in here because I had nowhere else to put them. Although I didn't want to put them here because this is where I have a trellis. So my plan was to put some more some pole beans here. So right now the, the, those extra peppers are in there with a bush bean. I, I mean, I just had to put them in something. <laughs> so we'll we'll see if they last there if I make some moves on them or not. But alright guys, I'll let you go here. Thanks for watching. I got some harvesting to do. I will see you next time.